Good morning. Welcome. Uh, we're going to start kneeling. So I just took a triple folded blanket and made it double so that it's even comfier. So the higher that support is, the easier on the knees. Uh, the sit bone and try to get your feet parallel. You might notice your toes want to turn in. But so they can make a comfy little cushion under your sit bones. But um, you just want to get the ankles stretched nice and evenly. Up. We're going to sit up tall and notice your breath. Feeling yourself in your space and your interior space in your house space, in the wider environment around you. Mm. Breathing, part of the great breath of all the other living beings. Travel your awareness up and down your spine and find the part of your spine that you feel in this moment needs the most care and compassion. Some it's the lower back, some it's between the shoulder blades, wherever that might be. And make tiny little circles with that part of your spine around a central axis. Tiny little circles. And the other direction. Sending lots of air and curious passion to that part of your back. Sitting up tall and stretching your arms up by your ears. Mm, lengthening your whole spine. Before we're going to take hold of the left wrist and reach over to your right thigh. So we want to draw length into the left side of the body. And if you open your heart towards the sky, then you'll feel that's a bigger movement. Mm, that's nice and relaxed. Reach as far as you good. Good, and then back to centre and hold your right wrist with your left arm and we'll bend over to the left side and here we're trying to open up between the right wrist. Open your heart to the ceiling and finding your deep breath. Mm, and back to the centre. Nice work. Take your palms up and your arms out from your shoulders. Curl your fingers in and thumbs back and we're going to make little circles. Try to keep your legs relaxed here. Feel the length of your spine and that part of your spine that you started to practice with that needs your extra attention and care. Feel that you're lifting there, making space. What you're doing with your arm, see if you can reach right into the back part of that range of movement. Um, and satisfying them. Good. And then we'll turn the palms down and still reaching into the back of your movement, but this time palm, uh, sorry, hands go up and thumbs forward.
and then as we bend the shoulders just a little, relax your arms, feel the lift of the spine and press down now through the fronts of the feet, the fronts of the shins, really engaging the muscle of the legs. Mm. And then release, really, really relax. And then again, press down through the fronts of the feet, the fronts of the shin. Breathing deep. And then thoroughly, thoroughly. Good. And then last one, really pressing down the fronts of the feet, the shins. Feel that work around the tops of the knees, the quadriceps. Really press, really press. Yeah. And then thoroughly, thoroughly relax. Nice work. We're going to come into an all fours position. So pick your blanket out. Mm. Let's make some little circles around the wrist. Good, and then take the knees out wide and forward, Virasana. So walk your hands forward and the hips back and make as much length as you can between the weight of the pelvis anchoring down and the arms and the sides of your waist and your lower back lengthening. And feel the flow of your breath. Into downward facing dog pose. Lift your heels high, take the hips up and back. Let your head just hang down. Good, and then little steps to walk forward and as you try to press your heels down we want to find that feeling of really stretching in the back of the leg and then at some point this movement feels really awkward it's as though you're stuck and when that happens just roll on up and we'll take that arms up and look up <laughs> Come to the front of your mat in Tadasana. We're going to do a little bit of walking forward and back on the mat. And uh, it might be that the seat of a chair is a better way for you to work with your hands on the seat of the chair instead of on the floor. Inhale, arms up. And as you exhale, Hands are going to go onto the floor and we're going to try and take those little tiny steps back. Noticing where that feels a little bit easier and take the opportunity in downward facing dog pose to really relax your head, your neck and really pressing the heels here, breathing deeply. Try to feel the weight is in your fingerprints and your base of your index fingers. Mm. And then we're going to take really little steps forward and with each step try to press your heels down. So if it's easier in this wider stance with the feet back at the back of the mat, then take more steps there. If you like the feeling of testing your range of movement, Try and take more steps at the front. Good, and then we'll roll up. 
and arms up and look up and Tadasana. Good, and let's go again. Looking forward. <laughs> Good, and then take little steps. So, test your self. Feel what you need here to work on. Coming forward again. And rolling up. Good, Tadasana. So if you're finding it really is a struggle, then holding on to the seat of the chair better before does make it more accessible. But the struggle is part of it. <laughs> so find your breath here in Tadasana. It's going to be a little bit different this time. Inhale, arms up. As you exhale, Uttanasana. And we're going to just step back so you're in a sort of a short downward facing dog pose. And then try to walk your left foot and your right hand forward a little. Good. And then back to that position. And then walk them back. So really you just stay connected with your left hand, your right foot. And we're moving the other two limbs together if you can. You can separate the movement out if you need to. And then back again. And forward again. And back again. Good. And then even yourself up. So your hands are in a line, your feet are in a line. Good. And then we'll do the other side. So you pick up your left foot. Sorry. Your left hand and your right foot and walk them forward a little bit. Good. And then walk them back a little bit and forward a little bit and back a little bit. Good. And forward. And, <laughs> nice. and line them up again. Mm. And then walking little steps forward to the front of the neck. Take that movement just as you need it. <laughs> Make it work for you. And then we'll roll up. And the arms up and look up. Nice work. Padasana. All right. From the front of the mat, mountain pose. Urdhva Hastasana, looking up and reaching up. Uttanasana, feel a little back bend. Good, big step back, left foot. So your heel won't be quite on the floor, but feel the groundedness of the feet, the strength in your legs. We're going to take the arms up by the side of the body if you can let go of the floor and take the palms up and look forward. Reach the fingertips back. Press down through the feet. Now from here, we're going to stand up, step forward, and bring the arms up by the ears with the left leg in front. See if you can make a smooth movement. <laughs> Ooh, pretty tricky. Your tiptoes might be on the floor. Good, and then release arms and legs back to mountain pose. Tadasana. Ah. Inhale, arms up. Uttanasana. Care and compassion through your spine. 
Mm, big step back with the right leg. Good, the front leg is bent and we're really grounding the feet. Feeling nice and strong in the leg, lifting the breastbone, looking forward. And if you can let go of the floor, take your hands up beside your palms up, fingertips back, look forward. We're going to step forward and lift up, balance on the left foot, bring the right foot in front <laughs> and bring the arms up by the ears. What? All in one go? Ah. Mm. Good. And then releasing. Feet under the feet. Tadasana. Inhale, arms up. And as you exhale, Uttanasana. Mm, good. Big step back with the left foot. Grounding through the feet, strong legs. Bring the arms up by your sides again. Palms up, looking forward. This time we're just going to lift the torso up into Virabhadrasana 1. Face the palms. Draw the shoulder blades down. Bend as deeply into your front leg as your body allows. Let the hip ease forward. Feel the lengthening. We're going to bring the hands in front of the heart. We're going to step forward, balance on the right foot, bring the left foot in front. Take a balance hold, if that's doable. Knee or foot, or your tiptoes might stay on the floor. Good, and then releasing that side. Tadasana. Inhale, arms up. And as you exhale, Uttanasana. Ease your spine. Good. Big step back with the right foot. Take the arms up beside you. Look forward. Strong legs. Feel yourself grounded through your feet and your legs. We're going to lift the spine, lift the arms up into Virabhadrasana 1. Draw the shoulder blades down. Good. Bend as deeply as your body allows. Let the right hip reach forward. Press the back leg straight. Ah. We're going to bring the hands together in front of the heart, anchor the shoulder blades, step forward and balance. Right foot in front, might be tiptoes on the floor, might be leg lifting or even holding knee or foot. Mm. Mm. Mm, good. And then releasing feet are underneath the hips. Tadasana. Stability in movement. So feel here the groundedness of your feet under your hips. The easing down of the shoulder blades. The lifting of the front of the hips, the belly. Inhale, arms up. And as you exhale, bend your knee and easing forward. Uttanasana. Left leg back, this time not such a big step. And we're going to have the heel, the left heel stays on the floor. So find a good stretch where the heel's on the floor. And we're going to try and straighten the front leg. Good. Lift your arms up by your sides. Now, to do that, you've got to feel grounded through your feet. Nice strong legs. Arms lift up and we're looking forward. Lift the palms. Reach the fingertips back. Lengthen the torso over the front leg. 
Lift your palms as high as they'll go. Good. And we're going to lift up, step forward, balance on the right foot, and take your balance hold. So that might be tiptoes on the floor, hands in front of the heart. Might be lifting the leg or even holding. Whichever hold or position you're doing, we're going to try and take the left knee out to the left side. Take your right arm out as a counterweight. Ooh. Good. And then releasing that side. Tadasana. Inhale, arms up. As you exhale, Uttanasana. Hmm. Big step back, right foot. Um, but just adjust so you can keep your heel down on the floor, feet of tracking parallel. Feeling nice and connected with your feet, strong in your legs. Lift the breastbone, look forward, and see how you go taking the arms up by your sides, palms lifting up. Lift the breastbone again, lengthen the belly and the chest over the front leg, lift the palms as high as they'll go. Legs are straight, feeling your balance in the core of the body, from the feet and the legs, and the compassionate attention at the spine. Good. We're going to lift up, step forward, balance on the left leg, and take your appropriate balance position with the right leg in front. And whichever position you're working on, see how you go taking that right knee out to the right side. So I've got my left arm out as a counterweight. Good. And then back to center. Tadasana. <laughs> Appreciating both feet on the floor. Under your hips, feeling grounded, but also feeling the lift, the vibrancy of your spine, your body, the ease of your shoulders, and the connection, your whole self, to everything around you through the breath. Amsa, Urdhva Hastasana, Uttanasana. We're going to take little steps again. Good. Now, we're going to come into a wide leg position on the mat so that you're facing your device. So you decide which foot you need to step forward. So the device is on my left, so I'm going to step my right foot forward. And then we can <laughs> transition. That was a loud forward. <laughs> we can turn around. So we're now in wide leg. Turn your toes out and drop your knees. And we've got the hands down on the floor. Uh, I said drop the knees. Bend the knees, drop the hips. As you drop your hips, lift the pelvic floor and lift the breastbone and look forward. So your feet are as wide as feels right for your body. Toes turned out. Good. And let's straighten one side and bend the other side. And we're going to do that from side to side. We're going to keep the toes really relaxed here. Actually lift them off the floor a little bit. So we're not digging in to the floor. More exploring what's possible in this stretch of the leg. Good work. 
and then turn your toes in. Think about how to sit down from here. So whatever movements you make, just noticing what they might be. I'm going to hop into a squat and then try to sit from there. <laughs> and whether it feels mm, elegant or inelegant, appreciating your movement. It's yours. <laughs> It's great that we can move. Ah, oh. and here we are sitting back in a simple seated position and finding the spine again. And find that part of your spine that we started the practice with that needs extra awareness and compassion. And start to make tiny little circles around a central vertical axis with that part of your spine. Notice if it's a little easier or if you just can move a little more freely. So try to lead the movement with that very part of your back and then in the other direction. We're gonna take uh, the right leg out. So I'll look opposite to you as wide as you can. And your left leg stays folded in in front of you. Good. Put your right hand on the inside of your right leg where it reaches, maybe knee or a little bit further down. And we're going to turn the torso to the left side. Mm. And feeling nice and long again in the spine. Feeling the satisfying breath. Try dorsiflexing your right toes, so the straight leg toes back towards you. A little bit stronger now. Keep lengthening the spine, turning. Turn so that you can even feel the skin of the belly start to stretch. But the shoulders stay down. And um, we're nice and relaxing. And enjoying each breath. Ah. Good. We're going to start to ease the torso out and over that straight leg. So keep your nice big turn, but start to reach your right rib over your right leg. And you can slide your hand down further towards your foot. Maybe you can even take hold of your foot or your legging. Good. But we'll keep that lovely feeling of the heart shining upward to the ceiling, to the sky. Hello, rain. <laughs> Mm. Mm. You can finish this posture off with the left arm by the left ear as well. You'll get a pretty intense stretch along the left rib. The only do that if that feels okay. Ah. And then inhale. And pull the off. <laughs> nice work. Bring the right foot in and the left leg out. <clears throat> so this time we're going to turn to the right side. So left hand on the right leg. Feel the anchor points of your body. What happens as you turn, probably the left sit bone wants to lift up off the blanket. So to keep a good anchor, press down all those points of connection, both sit bones, the back of the left leg, the shin of the right leg. 
good. So we can lift and lengthen the spine and also turn the spine. Anchor the shoulder blades down and relax the neck. And enjoy each breath. And that possibility of a little bit more movement with each breath. Even trying to stretch the skin from the left hip across the belly to the right wrist. Beautiful. And we're going to hold that twist. Uh, take your left hand down onto your left leg. I might have started there. And we're going to reach the left rib along the left thigh in that direction. But don't collapse the torso forward. So keep the feeling of the heart shining. Slide your left hand along wherever it reaches. So you can hold your legging or maybe your foot. But keep opening the heart upward towards the ceiling. So the right ribs are moving back. Ooh, and if you want to really supercharge this posture, we'll take the right arm by the right ear and read the right ribs as well. Mm -hmm. And then inhale. Thank you, Don. Parabhata Janu Sasana. Bring the feet in front again, simple cross legged position. This time we're going to find a different part of the spine and maybe the practice has brought in to highlight a, another place in the spine that needs awareness, compassion. And you're going to take that vertebra and try to wave it forward and back. Notice the movement of the associated muscle back here. And you can treat your spine anytime. Mm -hmm. Special treatment, other direction. Nice work. And then we're going to lay down on your back. Press your lower back into the floor. Mm. Holding the lower back, pressing, lift up. Uh, oh, sorry, we've got the soles of the feet on the floor, legs bent parallel. Lift up your heel, your right heel and keep your lower back pressing. Good, and then pedal the feet in that way. So now place the right foot back down, lift up the left heel. And we're just gonna pedal the heels up and down, but keep the lower back connected to the floor. Notice how the muscular work wants to creep up the chest, into the back of the neck, <laughs> into the throat, to try to keep that part of your body really relaxed and just really fire up the lower front abdomen. Good, and then release, put your feet relaxed back onto the floor and enjoying the shape, the natural shape. Ah, letting everything relax. We'll take the arms out by your shoulders. Take the legs down to straight. Stack your, so the feet are facing straight up. Stack your right heel up on your left toe. You get a little chimney stack of the feet and then take that chimney stack to the left. 
And what you're going to do is roll your lower body with your feet. So the right hip moves over to the left, but you keep your shoulder blades on the floor. Okay, and we're going to really reach with the feet and keep lifting the right hip so that you get a little bit more space under your right hip. And we're going to squeeze the buttock muscles towards each other and relax your neck. Finding breath. Good, and then release. Ah, back to center. Left heel props up on the right tiptoe. So take that stack of the feet over to the right side now. Try to keep your left shoulder blade on the floor and see if you can lift your left ribs a little bit more so that there's more space. And we're going to squeeze the buttock muscles together and looking over your left shoulder. Mmm, so nice. Immense lift. Good, and then coming back to the center. Let your legs just roll out. Ah. Hmm. We're going to do one more floor twist. Bend your legs in, touch the feet together, the knees together. Lift the hips and swing them to the right. And we're going to press the lower back down onto the floor. So it's mainly your left lower back in contact with the floor. But there's a really different feeling when you're trying to keep a contact with the back to the floor. So lower your legs now, knees to the left, but keep that contact with the left side of your lower back to the floor. Much more activity in the abdominal area. Try to keep the chest relaxed and the throat. Keep pressing so the left side of the waist is pressing down. Press, press, press. And you can make it stronger if you like by lifting the knees and the feet just. Oh, and then really active in your abdominal awareness and lift back up to center. Ah, nice work. Put your feet back down. Bring yourself back to center. Make sure everything's relaxing. Hard not to tense the throat or the chest. Relax there. Okay. We're going to lift the hips, swing them left. But just before you do anything else, try to press your lower back towards the floor. So it's going to be the right lower back that's connecting or the right back waist. Nice work. And... See how you go, keeping that connection. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Take the knees to the right side, but we're going to keep the throat really relaxed, the chest really relaxed. Turn to look over your left shoulder. Keep the right lower waist uh, or sideways pressing down. Good, and if you want to make it stronger, again, feet come off the floor, knees come off the floor. Just a little so pressing your right waist. Oh, relax your face, your throat, your chest. Hard to do. Keep breathing. Good supercharged awareness on the core of the body to lift up and come back to center. Oh, hug your knee into your chest. Wow. You can see that posture can be done in a very compassionate and um Passive way, we can really supercharge. Mm. Nice and relaxed now if you have time in your day to lay yourself out for Shavasana. 
please do that. Namaste. If like me, you need to finish your practice, we're going to roll to the side and come up this way. Hands in front of the heart. And take the feeling practice with you. Namaste.